We are here to remind you why it is so important to use Chrome and not Safari or Edge or Firefox while in school. Um, so we have four good reasons for you. Um, reason number one is ClassLink. Um, when Sync is on in Chrome, which it should be, um, when you open a new tab, it opens ClassLink by default. And while some students think of this as an inconvenience, we really want you to understand that this is very important because ClassLink provides seamless access from everything from essential learning tools to your grades, to turn it in, to Naviance, to your student ID, to Google materials and all library resources. All of these resources are available and you're automatically authenticated if you access them through ClassLink. So that's very important. Number two is compatibility with Schoology. Um, we ask that your sync is on and in Safari, you cannot, cr you cannot sync your Chrome account because obviously it's in Safari. It's not in, it's not allowing you to do that. So you're automatically in Safari unsynced and that creates a lot of problems when you're trying to do your Schoology assignments. Um, we, this is classic. I just, I was able to replicate this problem instantly by logging into Schoology from a student account and trying to complete an assignment and automatically I get access denied. Not so fast. Please wait till your files are created. Never gets created. This is just an ongoing issue. If you're using Safari, you will not be able to complete Google assignments in Schoology. Reason number three is the URL. Um, the Chrome provides really important information in the URL that Safari does not. Um, so you can see this is the same article open in two different browsers. One has the full URL and one is aesthetically pleasing. It just says the website that it came from. The reason we really want you guys to know all of the information that is available in this Chrome URL is because it really facilitates a resource evaluation and B citing sources. So in this case, it tells the reader not only, okay, the container, fine, that's in both places. That's the website that holds it. But um, it also provides the date of publication, which as you can see is part of the citation. So that's important information. It also provides the title of the article which is also part of the citation. And it also provides additional information that can just help you as a, as a web surfer to understand what is important here. And one is that it's in the book review section and it is actually a review, not just an article. Um, reason number four is paste without formatting. Now Safari has made some improvement, but not enough to get it off the list. Um, when copying and pasting a database citation, we really want you to paste without formatting because this way it preserves and matches the rest of your works cited list. So otherwise you can end up with a weird highlighted thing or something in a different font and we don't want any of that. So we really want you to use under edit, you see paste without formatting in Chrome. You can use command shift and V or command uh, or control shift and V and that will help you paste without formatting. You can see, I mean, this is where Safari has improved is that at least they've put the words in, but it's still grayed out in Google Docs and so you can't do it here. Those are the four reasons we have for you to use Chrome, not Safari, um, just so that we don't have that just because we say so conversation. Now you know four good reasons why you should do that. Thank you.